oh my god like it's like one thing for like you to be upset with me for sleeping with wiggy but like for you to like come after like my dream job over some piece of plastic that has like been in everyone is ridiculous and like i'll be damned if lulu thinks she's gonna get my dream job welcome to the wings of racy where nothing is fair and love and hair nice of you to finally make it in so I have everything organized everyone knows their assignments for today um I sent everybody a text did you get it look like 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 oh my god do you really think like I'm gonna allow you to take my management position no as the face of the brand you know as well as anyone else in here know that I am the perfect candidate for this position so good luck ho Next time you think about touching something that doesn't belong to you. Correction. Don't you mean to everyone? She likes belong to everyone. Becky, don't try it because everybody knew that I was talking to her first. Bro, I don't belong to none of these hoes. Like, they don't get it by now. Wiggy's gonna do what Wiggy's gonna do and that's just straight facts, huh? Straight facts. Amoya, I need you to work on this like short hairstyle request um, that we got last week. Reese wants to know if it could be done by like next week. Actually, I already gave her an order to work on, so you're going to have to assign it to someone else. Actually, no. I need her to do it because she's like better at it. And if you had any type of management skills, you would know that some people are better at things than others. Well, this is an order that is overdue. And if you was a good manager, you would know that that this is priority i just got off suspension so like i'm trying to really lay low but if i'm not the one arguing i don't want to hear these hoes arguing and i'm gonna say this if they don't shut the fuck up i'm gonna have to shut them the fuck up and then you know what's gonna happen i'm gonna get suspended again good Oh my god, Lulu. Like, the pop-up shop is not right now. That's not priority. Well, the pop-up shop is not going to wait for itself. We need to address the stuff now so that when the time comes, we are prepared and ready. Oh my god, Lulu. Like, don't sit here and try to, like, tell me how to do my job. Well, it ain't your job yet, ho. I need to go get my popcorn. I need to go roll up another blunt, maybe two. Because today is going to be all good. Day, like entertainment all day. I'm ready. <laughs> hey, are you busy Saturday? Um, actually, no. My fiance is out of town this weekend, so I'm pretty free. You're engaged? Yes, I'm engaged to a man of two years. Have you ever been with a woman? No, I've never been with a woman. Why, why, why is that a question? Anyway, I told Amoya that if she ever opened her mouth, I would kill her with my bare hands. Because I just didn't want my personal love life on the screen. Now nosy as fuck. Well, do you think your fiance will let you come to my concert Saturday night? Well, my husband is a little bit overprotective. But I think he'll let me go out with the star who personally invited me themselves to their concert just as long as I can have my blunts with me. <laughs> you are such a pop head. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's fine. Just, just be there. Oh my God, Lulu, it does not go like that. You have no idea what you're talking about, Becky, because this has been like this for years. You know, pretty doesn't equal smart. 
Becky, don't make me slap you. God, you're driving me crazy. Lulu, cut the shit, okay? You're only going after the job because fucking Becky slept with Wiggy, okay? And you need to get over that because Wiggy doesn't slap with everybody in the damn shop, except for me, of course. Oh, and maybe Shanae and, and probably Deborah. Okay, so maybe she slept with like half of the staff. But the point that I'm trying to make is you looking real stupid right now. So cut it. Damn, bro, I'm not sitting here. Don't mind me. As far as I'm concerned, we don't see you. You're not here. The only thing that anyone in this shop do see is your fucking plastic dick. Hello, she can do this. Oh my God. No, she cannot like do it. Did you not just hear what Amoya just said? That's it. I've had enough with these hoes. I'm about to kill the both of them. And I'm about to break Wiggy's plastic. Because I've had enough of that motherfucker too. Oh my God. Reese, please. I know I probably don't deserve it with my behavioral issues and all. But they are driving everyone in the shop crazy. We are ready to kill them with the little bickering back and forth like a married fucking couple. Okay, fine. Put me on speaker. Done. Listen up, you hoes. I mean, Reese's on the phone. I like knew I'd get the position. So suck it, Lulu. Suck it.